Hello and welcome back to FemDesign video lessons. In this video you will learn how to use FemDesign Foundation Design module. Foundation Design module is actually located right in here in this tab and what you can do with Foundation Design you can perform geotechnical checks of foundations such as column and strip foundations like here, foundation slabs and piles and for piles. It makes possible to calculate bedding models based on interaction with soil modeled in 3D, which you can see I have modeled my soil here. And you can actually add different layers to your soil and level of your ground water. You can also consider the insulation under foundations. With that model data here, you can calculate or design your foundations for ground, ground load bearing capacity and slip resistance and check of foundation eccentricity and settlements. So let's st start with what you need to do to, uh, so you can actually use the foundation design module. Uh, in structure tab you can see foundations, modeling tools here. And what I have already done is I have modeled foundation slab like this here. I have modeled wall foundation like this here. And I have modeled isolation, isolated foundation. With all these, you can simply draw them and you can set the starting parameters for every single one of these in here. What I have also done, I have modeled my soil here. With soil, you will have three different uh, starting parameters tabs here you have general where you put your limit depth here and default filling you have strata which means here you can put uh, from top down order all your ground materials and by clicking here you can go to your library or you can actually modify the existing soil materials or you can make new ones here And what is left, you can put your groundwater here. And how you can modify the depth of those different levels, you can either choose to add more boreholes to your soil, or you can modify the already existing four boreholes, like this one here. You can simply click into the borehole and here you can modify top level of your uh, for example here I'm gonna modify the top level of my gravel let's click like this and now you can see it actually changes also in a 3d model and what you have left for these tools uh, or these functions is filling and pile. In this model I'm not gonna have filling or piles to keep this, this example as simple as possible. So now we have I have already calculated this model and now we can actually move the foundation design tab to check what what we can do there. In foundation design you will start your design process by configuring foundation design starting parameters. And here you have four different tabs. You have design approach according to a Eurocode. You have safety factors. You have load combinations. I In my model, I only have one load combination and I have set that to geo one limit state combination. And then you have settlements and considered load combinations and parameters check. After you have set these design starting design parameters, you can click here 
and here you can see the three different options that you can check. We have isolated foundation, wall foundation, and foundation slab. I'm going to start with the isolated foundation. And here we have uh, different calculation parameters only for isolated foundation. And here you have a couple parameters you can set. And now when we have done this, we can actually check. And here you can see utilization rate according to Eurocode and according to FemDesign design check. And here you can see the design checks that are performed to that foundation. We have load bearing, sliding and settlement check. Of course, we can always click here, isolate the foundation and utilization, display. And with detailed results, we can have a better look of the design checks we have performed. And first, we have the starting parameters like geometry of our foundation, we have material we have used, and safety factors. First design check we have here is soil bearing utilization. Then we have soil sliding utilization. And if uh, some of the design checks are not relevant, we have, for example, we have absolute settlement utilization and insulation utilization as set as not relevant. And what is left, we have summary of all the checks we have done. And from here, we can see that the pairing utilization is actually the highest utilization right here. And these checks we can perform to file foundation. Simply by clicking here, we can see the same design checks happening here. We can also perform this to foundation slab like this. And for all of these, or both of these, we can do the same. We set file foundation utilization to view, and then we click it with detailed results, and we can see the documentation of that design, of those design checks that are performed. Here we can see bearing, sliding, and insulation check done. Okay, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.